The director of the NIH says no corners will be cut in the search for a vaccine, but he says taking, taking even a day off the timeline will make a difference. Tonight, there is encouraging news about a potential vaccine now being tested on humans and monkeys. CBS's chief medical correspondent, Dr. John LaPook, has more in our series, Racing to a Cure. NIH researchers in Montana tested the vaccine using six rhesus macaque monkeys like these. They say the monkeys that got the vaccine developed protective antibodies against coronavirus. But it's what happened next that's giving doctors hope tonight. That's because when they exposed the animals to coronavirus, the monkeys that weren't vaccinated developed pneumonia, a sign of COVID-19. But those that got the vaccine had no pneumonia and no virus in their lungs. Why isn't it enough to show that a vaccine elicits, say, an antibody response? We need to know that it protects the animal or the human from the infection. And just having the antibody, if it doesn't work to prevent disease, um, it's not going to cut it. The vaccine used in the study is being developed by Oxford University and uses a cold virus that's been modified so it can't spread infection. It's packed with genetic material from the coronavirus. Once injected, it triggers an immune response, teaching the body to recognize and fight a future infection. Oxford's Adrian Hill says if it works, this vaccine has another important benefit. This is not a hugely difficult vaccine to make. Large scale is feasible, we believe. A different study showed rhesus monkeys and humans have about 93% of their DNA in common. But researchers won't be celebrating until there's a vaccine that's safe and effective in humans. Nora? Dr. John LaPook, thank you.